Hello and welcome to Presswick Golf Club here in Ayrshire, which is the first leg on our tour of the region. And from our base at Dundonald Come, just 10 miles or so um, down the road to, to Presswick, it's taken us probably about 15 minutes to get here, so not very far at all. But it's a golf course absolutely steeped in history, over 160 years worth, in fact, of golf that's been played here on the golf course. Old Tom Morris was their first ever keeper of greens and the very first Open Championship was held here back in 1860. So since then, uh, the tournament's been held 24 times here at Prestwick. And like I say, the rich history continued from there. So the um, championship was won three consecutive times from um, 1868, 69 and 70 by young Tom Morris. He then got to keep the then championship belt, which was the prize for winning the Open Championship. There was no Open the following year, but it was young Tom Morris again that won the trophy in 1872 when a, when a new trophy was commissioned by the honourable company of Edinburgh Golfers and the Royal and Ancient at St Andrews, the very famous Claret Jug, which we all know and love as the symbol of the Open Championship. Young Tom Morris won this again uh, in that year and was the first ever recipient of it. And it cost the princely sum of £30. But we're going to get out here now on the famous links here at Prestwick. Uh, we're going to play the golf course and tell you exactly what we think. We've just played the first four holes here at Presswick. Really, really nice holes. We've got it on a great day as well. And we've come to this, the fifth, known as the Himalayas. Probably the, one of the signature holes out here on the golf course. As you can see, it's completely blind. It's a par three of around 200 yards. And we're playing from the white tees today. And you can see behind me, there's a sleeper wall against the bank. Now, depending on which tee you play from, uh, depends on which marker you're aiming for. So we're off the white, so the white sleeper that we've got there is where we're aiming for the centre of the green. So we're going to play this hole. We'll show you when we get to the top of the hill exactly what it looks like as well. But I've played here before and it is tricky to say the least. So the three of us are going to have a go right now. Ah, oh, it's a fucking tall one. Lovely. What an awesome golf hole that was. Really long par three, bunkers everywhere, and any hole that's got a bell as big as that over the back of the green to tell people they can tee off, you know it's blind and you know it's gonna to be tough, and it certainly was, but yeah, really, really enjoyable. On to the next. So we've just got through nine holes, what do you reckon boys? Yeah, good, it's uh, proper quirky, uh, some fiddly holes to start with and then proper, the end of the front nine opens up, it's a bit more of like a bit of modern sort of links. Yeah, wind's starting to get up a bit now as well which is uh, playing havoc to say the least. Um, but yeah, very good nine holes, very different from some of the links I've played in the past. What do you reckon Scott? Yeah, I think like Matt said, I think I like the first and second, um, three and four. 
like you say, very quirky five, that Himalayas hole, blind par three. Yeah. Um, it's just a nice mix of like really, really old fashioned holes with some more modern ones. And, yeah, greens are, are good, so enjoy Let's see if we can tackle the back nine. Eh? Lots to do. Hopefully this wind doesn't go. So we're here on another one of the signature holes here at Presswick, the 17th. So we're going to hit to the fairway there, which you can see is very, very undulating. And then we've got a completely blind shot over the hill. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get down there. But first, we've got to try and hit this fairway. We've made our way up to the top of the hill on this hole, which is affectionately known as Alps to see these three um, wooden markers on the top of the hill. So they tell you where the pin position is. You look on the tee, it tells you which one to aim at when you get to the fairway, so you know where to hit your second shot. So come this way and have a bit of a look. If you don't quite get the distance right though, you're faced with this, the Sahara Bunker, which is uh, as sandy as it sounds really, very, very deep, and certainly not somewhere you want to find yourself if you're trying to make par on this hole. But like you can see, very, very different to a lot of golf holes you'll play. Very quirky, but very, very good. So we've just walked off the 18th green here at Presswick. We had a great afternoon. The weather is just starting to turn and it's starting to drizzle a little bit, so we're not going to be too long. But what did you think of the course, Matt? That's really good. I mean, it's very different to the other course I've played around here, for sure. It's, uh, it's a little bit more tight, fiddly. The greens were brilliant. Like, Lovely, some of the best greens I've played on this year, at least probably the last few years. They were really good. It's, it's different to any links I've ever played in that it's quite fiddly and quirky, isn't it, in places, yeah. but certainly well worth uh, a visit and coming to play. We also met David, the professional, didn't we, who showed us around the shop. He's got an awesome golf shop here as well with lots of uh, memorabilia commemorating the first ever Open Championship that was here at the golf course. And I'm sure that alone would bring plenty of visitors, but the golf course more than matches it as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed that little look at Presswick. We've certainly absolutely loved playing here and we'll see you all at Turnbury.